AVFC and welcome to this session 10 um, of our secret place devotion series um, and today we're going to be talking about spiritual violence and we're going to be starting off in Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12 and it says the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. The word violence, um, it, it seems quite an extreme word, but I think it captures the intensity with which this end time generation will pursue God. You know, I mean, if you were ever in any doubt, um, things are getting more, more and more extreme. That's evident in the world today. And um, there is gonna require a need for us to be more, much more forceful in our walk with God. You know, we will have to seek God with our entire being, denying ourselves and throwing off all entangling sins to run the race with passion, purity and perseverance. The signs of the times suggest that we are in these last days. This is the hour to seek God with a with violent abandonment. There is an urgency in the spirit. It's time to awaken from our slumber and chase down the kingdom of God like never before. Genuine faith seeks God earnestly. And Hebrews 11:6 says that without faith it is impossible to please God. True faith understands not only that God exists, but that he rewards us according to the intensity of our pursuit of him. God chases reveal faith by the way they run. Men and women of faith cannot be distracted or detoured from the objective because they firmly believe that God is going to reward their pursuit. And they're right. Spiritual violence begins in the secret place. It all starts with how you apply yourself in, to the disciplines of prayer, to just adoration, gazing, fasting, reading, study, meditation, listening, absorption of the truth. You know, the Bible says flee from sin. And there is an element of violence that involved in that such as the forcefulness, you know, you see sin run as fast as you can away from it. It's easy to confuse natural zeal though, with spiritual violence. Some people um, display incredible zeal for God in the way they worship or share their faith uh, or attend church things. But if it's a natural zeal, then it only lasts for as long as others are taking notice. And this natural zeal must be exchanged for true spiritual fervency. A zeal that is energized by an inward holy fire that burns even when no one is looking. In the Old Testament, Jacob had such a zeal for the things of God that he deceived Isaac to receive a blessing from him and deceived his brother into selling him and giving him his birthright. But God honored and blessed Jacob despite his deceit. You know, God honored his passion. And um, so go after God with everything you've got. No one else can hinder your race. It doesn't matter how others recognize what, you're, what you do. Just pursue God. There is a cloud of witnesses cheering you on from heaven. So as we go into the song now, I just want you to think about these couple of things. Do you need to light the fire? Do you need to, to light that zeal back again? You know, only God can, can actually ignite that passion in you. So, so um, why don't you just spend time and asking God to reignite that passion? And are there promises in the Bible that you need to forcefully lay hold of? Maybe you need healing for yourself or for a loved one. And you know, Jesus has done everything uh, for us to gain healing. Do we need to take hold of what God says and stand on it 
and forcefully take pull on the resources of heaven? And is there sin in your life that you need to flee from? Uh, and can I encourage you to repent of it and, and run as f put, it, put it as far away from you as possible in a forceful manner? Help us to run, uh, run our race with with perseverance, with zeal, with um, passion, Lord. And we 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 commit to chasing after you for all you've got. To take everything that that is on offer with violence. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again next time.